I'm going to go over the best techniques for making kale puree for your baby. So I have kale pre-prepped in this bowl. This is roughly three cups of kale with the stems removed and chopped into about one inch pieces. You're going to heat a saute pan over medium to low heat, and then you'll want to add about a quarter cup of water to the pan. Once it's sizzling, you know it's warm enough to add the kale. And we're just going to saute this down for a minute to two minutes until it's just wilted. And you'll want to keep turning it so that no sides get burned. As it's cooking, you'll look for this bright, vibrant green. Once it goes past the bright green color, then it's been overcooked, so you really need to stay on top of it and make sure you take it off after only a minute or two. So, this is roughly what you're looking for, a nice bright green color. It's not too soggy, but it's wilted down enough to break up the kale leaves. And we'll add this to our blender. And then I follow it with the water as well, so that it can turn in the blender a little bit easier. And then we'll process this for about 30 seconds. Now that it's blended, we'll pour it out into a mixing bowl. And kale alone as a puree is actually not very palatable for most babies. I prefer to mix it with a sweeter starch, like a sweet potato or uh, butternut squash. So you can scoop some of, this is sweet potato, into the kale puree. And you'll just keep adding it until you find a blend or texture that's suitable to your baby. Tasting along the way. And this puree is rather smooth, so it'd be great for a baby around six to eight months of age, but it would be very easy to thicken it up with a grain like quinoa or oats to make it a little bit thicker. So we'll place it in our serving dish. it's ready to go. So you can see that making your own kale baby food is actually quite simple.